Now if you're here, you most likely suffer from frustration at the game, which is completely normal. Well, I'm here to give you a couple tips on how to better deal with your frustration and tilt when it comes to playing Dead by Daylight. Tip number one, set reasonable expectations. If my goal as a survivor is to escape it doesn't matter how many times I do it in a row, the moment I fail to escape once, I'm mad. And that's just not sustainable. That's why it's important to have multiple, more reasonable goals mixed in as well. So even if you don't get your main goal of four kills or an escape, you can at least complete something. For example, as Survivor, I might have a goal of being chased for a long period of time. So even if I don't manage to make it out, as long as I could have a long chase, I'm happy. It could be something like getting value out of a perk, doing something that might be interesting or funny to you, having a funny moment in the game. They could literally be anything. Tip number two is to take breaks in between games. I know you want to get as many games in as possible because you only have X amount of time to play today, but seriously, just take breaks. Set a 10 minute timer after a game that was frustrating and don't even try to start a new game until that timer goes all the way down. Giving yourself time to take a break and process what happened and calm yourself will keep you from continuing down this tilted path of just continually playing more games while being angry. You don't want to do that. Tip number three is to look inward when things do go wrong. Yes, your teammates could have stood in the way of the killer so you made it to the exit gate. But maybe if during the chase you were a bit more efficient with your pathing, you wouldn't have needed them to do that. Yes, the survivor escaped because he had the perfect perk for the situation, but maybe if you played better and had better mind games throughout the chase, then it wouldn't have fallen onto that one moment. I'm not saying you should always blame yourself or look down on yourself whenever a situation happens, but always try to look for ways that you personally can improve without just, you know, blaming your team or blaming XYZ and then forgetting about it. Every single game is a learning opportunity, and if you continually try to learn and improve, then you'll feel better about the game. The next tip is to point out something positive about your play every single game. Regardless of the situation, regardless of how bad you played, regardless of the mistakes you made, always be able to point out at least one positive thing about yourself that you did during that game. Because if you get in the habit of only looking at your negatives, then you're never going to be satisfied regardless of how well you play. This has personally worked for me, it's worked for a couple of my friends who I've given the advice to. Just Try to stay positive. And the final tip is to just try to have fun. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to win, you want to get better, you want to do this, you want to do that, but just, just try to find fun in the game you play. And if you're not having fun, then just stop playing for a while. What's the point if it's literally torture for you? Games are made to be a release, so take advantage of that. Make sure that that's how you feel when you're playing games, and if you don't feel that at all, then you know, maybe see what's wrong. Anyways, this is a game where I was getting pretty tilted, but I used some of the tips that I told you guys to make sure I didn't lose my temper, and I ended up having a better experience because of it. He's got a mech hit though, so that was actually really stupid of me. Haha, uh -huh, I'm so stupid. I just don't know when to and not to use the blades, because I don't play enough. Because look, he's going to be ill before I even start this chase. Unless I'm chasing him. Yep. He's looping this side, which is smart, because I can see over the other side. Nice. If he just went for the window, he might have actually done that. What? Oh, he's got that perk. 
Yeah, I have no clue where he went. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> yes. That's literally what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, yes. Freaking huge, dude. Wait, you already healed? All the gens are done? That's uh, cringe. Is that a 3k baby? And just like that, by staying positive and staying focused, I was able to turn a zero kill game into a three kill game. Never give up, try not to lose your cool, stay focused, and most importantly, have a good time. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you around. <laughs>